Don't be intimidated by what you don't know. That can be your greatest strength and ensure that you do things differently from everyone else. Embrace what you don't know, especially in the beginning, because what you don't know can become your greatest asset. It's important to be willing to make mistakes. The worst thing that can happen is you become memorable. When something I can't control happens, I ask myself, where is the hidden gift, where is the positive in this? Differentiate yourself. Why are you different? What's important about you? Why does the customer need you? We don't have the luxury of time. We spend more because of how we live, but it's important to be with our family and friends. You've got to visualize where you're headed and be very clear about it. Take a Polaroid picture of where you're going to be in a few years. The smartest thing I ever did was to hire my weakness. Money is fun to make, fun to spend and fun to give away. I think my story says that, when women are given the chance and the opportunity, that we can achieve a lot. We deliver. Whatever you can think, you can create, just have a very clear vision. Once you have your snapshot, work on filling in the blanks to get to that place. Always be kind. Along the way, some people liked me, some people didn't. As long as I'm in check with my, why, and my purpose, and I know that I have a good intention and I'm being kind, I've got to let go of all of that other worry. In business, you're going to hear the word, no, a lot. The importance of trusting yourself and your own rear end is what's going to keep you going. Recognize that failure or the word, no, is not the end. Most of the reason we don't do things is because we're afraid to fail. I just made a decision one day that I was not not going to do things in my life because of fear. There is a hidden blessing in the most traumatic things we go through in our lives. My brain always goes to, where is the hidden blessing? What is my gift? Courage is doing something despite the fear, and I've worked hard on being a courageous person. Trusting your gut is like a muscle. The more you do it, the stronger it gets. Trying new things and not being afraid to fail along the way are more important than what you learn in school. Shapewear is the canvas and the clothes are the art. The biggest risk in life is not risking. Sarah Trelevin Blakely, born February 27, 1971, is an American businesswoman and philanthropist. She is the founder of Spanx, an American intimate apparel company with pants and leggings, founded in Atlanta, Georgia. Although she planned to become an attorney, she reconsidered after scoring very low on the law school admission test. She instead accepted a job at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, where she worked for three months. She also occasionally worked as a stand-up comedian during this period. Blakely accepted a job with office supply company Donka, where she sold fax machines door to door. She was quite successful in sales and was promoted to national sales trainer at the age of 25. For her attendance at a private party, 
She experimented by cutting off the feet of her pantyhose while wearing them under a new pair of slacks and found that the pantyhose continuously rolled up her legs, but she also achieved the desired result. Blakely further explained in 2011 that the experience of developing her idea also revealed to her that the hosiery manufacturing industry was overseen solely by men who were not using the products they were producing. The creation of the initial product prototype was completed over the course of a year. Blakely used her credit card to purchase the Spanx trademark on the USPTO website for $150. Blakely's product was sold in seven Neiman Marcus stores as a result of the meeting. Bloomingdale's, Saks, and Bergdorf Goodman soon followed. At around this time, Blakely sent a basket of products to Oprah Winfrey's television program, with a gift card that explained what she was attempting to develop. In November 2000, Winfrey named Spanx one of her favorite things, which led to a significant rise in popularity and sales, as well as Blakely's resignation from Donka. Spanx achieved $4 million in sales in its first year and $10 million in sales in its second year. In 2001, Blakely signed a contract with QBC, the home shopping channel. In 2012, Blakely landed on the cover of Forbes magazine for being the youngest self-made female billionaire in the world. In October 2013, Blakely explained that her ambition is to design the world's most comfortable high heel shoe prior to retirement. She was listed as the 93rd most powerful woman in the world by Forbes. In 2015, Blakely and her husband Jesse Itzler were part of a group led by Tony Ressler that purchased the Atlanta Hawks for $850 million. In October 2021, the Blackstone Group acquired a majority stake of Spanx, Inc. The company was valued at US$1.2 billion. Blakely was to retain the position as executive chairwoman. Forbes magazine estimated her net worth after the deal at US$1.3 billion. To celebrate the transaction, Blakely gave each of her 750 employees $10,000 in cash and let them purchase two first-class plane tickets to any destination they desired to travel to.